This video is going to show you how to do your reference page in Google Docs. So here I already have two references already filled into my document. You'll have a total of six. And I'm just going to show you real quickly for this reference in particular where I found some of that information. So I pull up the PDF and I see, okay, this is the author's name. Now this one can be confusing. Um, so I looked into it a little bit because I know sometimes students put Le Maire, sometimes they put, um, I don't know how you say it, but Cornier, Le Maire. So I looked up and it appears to me that this is this entire thing is the author's last name. And although it's not hyphenated here, I decided to hyphenate it in my references because I've seen it hyphenated elsewhere. So this is her last name and this is her first initial. This is the year the article was published. This is 2019 here. So if I go to my document, you'll see I have her last name, her first initial. Then I have the year in parentheses followed by a period. This is the title of the article. Note that the only, the, the only thing that's capitalized is the first word, unless you had a colon, and then what comes after the colon would be uh, cal uh, um, capitalized as well, sorry. Here's the name of the journal, the volume number and the issue number and page numbers. So here, that's where I found that this information, the volume number, the issue number, the page numbers. And then the DOI is just below it. And so the DOI is important. And it'll, and again, that's the information you're gonna need is gonna be in different places in different journal articles. So you'll have to search around. So what I do is I copy and paste that and then I change the font to make it the same as the font that's in the rest of my paper. You'll notice that I have the um, title of the journal and the volume number in italics. That's part of APA formatting. Um, in an earlier video, I think I had a period after the end of the DOI. When you look at the APA manual, it does not have one, so I've removed those periods. And then just one more thing, looking at the, the journal. Uh, the name for the journal. So sometimes students are drawn to this where it says American Psychological Association. So that's, let's say, the publisher of the journal. This is actually the name of the journal. And notice how I don't have any abbreviations used here or here. We don't want to abbreviate that journal. We want it to make it easy for the reader to be able to find that. Okay, so now I have all of this. Now, I'm gonna get rid of any extra spaces. There's still one more space there. And I need to put in my reference title, my reference heading, I guess. That needs to be centered. I type it, I'm gonna highlight that. It also needs to be in bold. Okay, so now I need to double space. Now you notice here, there's already this space here and, and I get the aesthetics of, of wanting that space there, but we only want our, our references double space. We won't, don't want that extra space in there. That goes for other things like headings and things like that. Just double space. Don't put any extra spaces in your paper. And I suggest writing all your references in and then doing exactly what I'm going to do now to reference them. Put the space in to, to make it easy and then um, actually probably the easiest thing to do is to then highlight this whole aspect, go to format, Go to line spacing, go to double. Now you'll see here, now I have an extra space. So I'm gonna remove that extra space. And you'll need to do that for all of your references or I will have to deduct points for that. Now I'm gonna come up and I'm going to highlight again. I'm going to go to format and where it says align and dent, and indent, sorry, align and indent. I'm gonna go over I'm going to go all the way to the bottom to indentation options. I'm going to click that and I'm going to click hanging. And by default, it should say 0.5, which is a half an inch. I click apply and now voila, I have my hanging indent. And the point of this is so that it really highlights the last name of the first author. And it, it's a way of giving them that credit for doing this research really. One other note is please note that um, these are in alphabetical order. So your references come in alphabetical order, not the names, the last names within one reference. Notice here, this isn't in alphabetical order. This is in order of the, the way the authors are presented on the paper. Your references should be in alphabetical order.
and my running head and my page number, it would not be page one, obviously, it'd probably be page 10 or 11 or something like that, um, is also going to be in that reference section. References start on a new page. And now you know how to format your references.